Hello oh guys, welcome back. This is the second part of the adding more routes video. So let's try. Um, this is the index.js file which exists in the source folder. Um, there are the two routes which we created in the PS video. If you missed that video or not watched that video, so I provide that video link in the description. So must watch that video. Now I create a new route router.port this is a pull request route and I usually use the pull request uh, route to update um, updates um, specific data into our uh, DB into our database and as for segment is a path I have to do and this is the any part you want to give it um, but it should be relevant and uh, it should be declarative and uh, it should relevant about your project now I get a new parameter ID. This uh, this also known as variable, but it acts like a parameter, and uh, it is a parameter. It is a dynamic parameter. So I show you how it works. And its second argument is a callback function. Its parameters request and response. Now I log it. Request dot params dot id um, but when you, whenever you want to access some parameter you have to type this request dot params dot and after the parameter name right so let's test it that it works according okay now npm start and that's how it started so to test this route we use the postman software which I discussed in the previous video so here's the postman and type the URL of where our server runs http local post now 19000 our server is running on this port number and uh, here I add the Path name, which is this to do. I add this to do, and uh, now I type the, I copy and paste the to do ID to here. So from here, this I am the database, and here are the two to dos exist in our database. Okay, here. Here they are. Okay. So here are the IDs. Here's the ID of the one first to do and is the second to do ID. They, mm, the both IDs are different from each other. And when we see if some um, data into a uh, Mongo DPE and to AMLAB database or another database, so it saves some specific and different ID to handle that type of uh, details right so copy I copy this ID and uh, now paste it and select the type of the request is the pull request and now send no response is come because we don't specify what response have to come so come to a VS code and this is the terminal Okay, and uh, as you see, this console the log works and uh, shows us our ID that we type here, right? So it runs according to our expectations. Okay, delete it. Our work is done now. Um, create a new variable which is I type this to do ID and uh, underscore ID request dot params for ID. Okay, um, this is a key value pair, and this is object receives in this to do ID level. I type this underscore underscore ID um, because that um, whenever uh, we put a new data or our data exists in our database, so its ID ID's property is uh, written like that underscore ID. So that's why I type the here underscore ID, right? So get a next variable. Uh, I type it um, updated to do. Okay. 
now txt request body dot txt um, in our mongoose model or schema this is a mongoose mod schema okay so the value we need is a txt from the user okay so here i type this txt and its value is requested body dot txt um, whether we want to oh, access um properties value that user gives us when making a request so request dot body type this request dot body dot and after the property name right i was discussed this in the past videos okay now type to do dot update because we want to update a specific id data a specific id to do okay now its first argument is a to do id and the second argument is a updated to do and the third argument is a callback function is parameter r error you type errors okay now check this whether the errors so it runs this return response dot json now i type this whenever um, the to do is update not successfully updated but error throws um, our database whether uh, throws some error that the id is not specified or any other error so this so this runs right i type it false and uh, show the errors okay and whenever there are no errors then response.json okay i type the status true which means all is well um means the to do is successfully updated right so test it uh, so it's running okay come here body row txt json select this to json and now create a, a new object and type txt with a property name in our case and uh, this come to this and uh, I select this select this ID and copy it and paste it here paste it here and uh, its value is testing okay I change this value to to do one okay send a request it sees us status rubies are data is updated our to do is updated reload the speech see the effect testing is no longer written uh, here and to do one is written here as you see it okay this is great and now create our next route router dot lead now is full circle argument is a path i tap it to do now again i specify and the parameter which also id parameter or variable and the second argument is a callback function and its parameters are request and response okay now uh, we have to delete uh, id targeted to do from our database right so for that i have to get a new variable const to do id now underscore id request dot prompts dot id and now type the model name or use name to do dot delete no no to do dot remove okay so is first argument is a to do id variable which value is a uh, key value par means check and uh, the second argument is uh, errors what errors those it shows here it comes here and uh, if there are errors 
then return response uh, JSON and now I add this to do whether uh, some error happens so this condition runs and it seems as that status is false and uh, it shows all errors right and uh, when when everything is well and everything is running fine then this response this condition runs response dot json now I add the state is true which means our uh, which means our data is deleted into our DB so test it server is up means running okay I select this to do I select this to do ID copy it and uh, now delete this and type the path the path is to do Oh, we can change it ok change it come here and uh, I type remove now to do this a path and uh, this according to your choice right so I type remove to do slash here I have to paste the ID that I just copy from uh, from DB ok paste it and uh, select the type of request select delete right okay in this uh, DB there are two to do's I selected this so to be deleted right so send a request it gives a status true which means the to do is successfully deleted right so test it reload this page and uh, as you see it that to do is deleted right now if we want to delete this to do so test it paste it here and sign a request it gives a status true which means this also deleted reload the page and uh, none at this time no documents at this time because all documents were deleted right. okay this is enough for this video um, thank you for watching I hope you learned something if you have any queries so type them in comments if you like this video then uh, press the like button if you dis dislike it then dislike it and let me know the reason and subscribe my channel thank you for watching and uh, finally bye